this is Christian from Nazara Mobile Tech, and I'm here with my Apple MacBook Pro mid-2012 edition. It is not a retina display, still runs beautiful. So, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a clone of yourself using Final Cut Pro X. So this is Final Cut Pro 10. it's a newer version, and this is extremely easy, an extremely easy method. So what you're going to want to do is record yourself in a corner of the room. Um, in the corner of a room. And basically just um, look up, see yourself, and react. Make a reaction. Like get scared, say hi, do anything. Just react. And then you're going to want to go to the other corner of the camera of the room and do the same thing. So, uh, you can do that in one continuous shot. So, once you do that, you import the video into Final Cut Pro by clicking on here and looking for it. So, you click on here, you look for it, but that video that was there is the video I'm using. So, you just drag it in here and try to make it as best as much quality as you can. Leave it like that. So, it is in 1080p, but it was recorded with my FaceTime HD camera, so it's not the best quality. And this is my little cousin. So, what you're going to want to do is scroll through the video and then find the initial reaction. As you can see, there was the initial reaction. So, you're going to want to click M on your keyboard and it'll create a marker. So, after that, you look through the video and you find the spot where you start switching places right here and press B and click on it and that will cut the video right there and then look for when you first get set up on the other spot so right there and click again and it'll cut this into three separate videos and then you're gonna want to press A to come back to the normal pointer then you're gonna find the initial reaction on this video which in this one was very early so here you want to you're going to press M and it'll create the marker. So over here, you just highlight this and press delete on your keyboard. And in the end, if you do anything, as you can see, I appear there, you're going to want to delete that. So press B again, cut it out, and then press A. And you can just touch this and delete it. Now you have these two files, these two videos. So what you're going to want to do is pick this one up and try to match the the blue markers together like put them on top of each other so as you can see they are almost perfectly matched up actually so we're gonna leave them like that so you're gonna click this top video make sure it's not click here or just none is clicked so you're gonna want to click the top video and let me just scroll this over here so you can have a visual of how it's gonna look so, you, so as you can see, the video, this video right here, uh, the person is on the right. So you're going to want to make the left of the video actually visible at this time. So you're going to want to put the left and make it around here. So it's around half of the video. And let's see how that looks. So scroll back and press play. Actually what we can do is go all the way back and as you can see the act the f full video plays and then two people are in the video it is that easy to create a clone using Final Cut Pro X I hope you guys actually like this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, in order to see all my new videos since I don't really have any set date where I publish a video like every Monday or something I want you to subscribe to my channel so you can see every time I pull it, publish one. Don't forget to like and leave a comment down below if you, if you have any questions. If you want to ask for a video, also leave a comment down below because I am constantly reading the comments. And if you have a question, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.